everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Oh, hi there, little readers. I was just feeding my fish, which made me really hungry. But not hungry for food, hungry for a new story. Oh, I know. How about we say the magic words to midnight so he wakes up and we can read a new story together? Sleep be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. I said, sleep be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. Say it with me, sleep be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. <laughs> Grandpa Farouk's Garden by Sam Van Riet, Matthew Khalil, and Nina Lewis. Deep in the city, surrounded by houses and bricks and tar, you'll find Grandpa Farouk's Garden. Amir visits Grandpa once a week. He loves the leaves and flowers and trees. Besides leaves and flowers and trees, what else do you see on this page? Did you see this bee? And what about this butterfly? And another butterfly. And another bee. <gasps> One more bee over here. Mir helps to water the plants. He does so by filling up this purple water pitcher. And when he tips it over, the water comes out of the spout and waters all the plants. Hey, isn't this so much fun? Let's keep reading together. He helps with the compost and works with his grandpa all day. See, Amir is looking at the compost. More specifically, he's looking at the earthworms. Do you see the worms? The earthworms speed up the compost process and help give nutrients to all of Grandpa's plants. When they finish, they feast on a harvest of fruit. That looks like a mighty delicious pear. One day, Grandpa didn't eat his pear. What's wrong? asked Amir. My garden is dying, replied Grandpa. Why, asked Amir. Look closely, said Grandpa. Some pests are eating the plants. We need ladybirds, said Grandpa. They are the bugs that eat the pests that kill the plants. Without ladybirds, the garden will die. Do you see? Grandpa is thinking about the ladybirds that he needs. I wonder what I would do if I were him. I'll bring you a bug or two, said Amir. And now Amir is thinking about all the ladybirds he could catch and bring Grandpa. I wonder where Amir will find the ladybirds. For a whole week, Amir looked and searched and collected. See, he's looking for the ladybirds and he has a net to catch them. He found one ladybird on the sports field. There it is. Two more at the shop. One, two. Three at the park. One, two, three. And four behind the TV. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Do 
you know what kind of animal that is? That's right, it's a deer. Next week, Amir went to visit Grandpa Farouk and showed him his jar of 10 bugs. There's his jar with all of the ladybirds inside. You've done well. Oh my boy, you've done well. Grandpa said with a tear in his eye. Yay! Grandpa was very happy. And the ladybirds were very hungry. Look at all those ladybirds. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten very hungry ladybirds. The ladybirds ate the pest and the garden blossomed. Wow, look how pretty. How many butterflies do you see? One, two. And how many bees? One, two, three. And how many ladybirds? One, two, three, four, five. What else do you see? How about pears? One, two. Well, that was fun. Thanks for counting with me. Let's get back to the story. I think this might be my favorite part. From that day on, Grandpa Farouk's garden did what gardens should do. It grew and grew and grew. Look, it grew chili peppers and radishes and pears and oranges and flowers. And it made Grandpa Farouk and Amir so happy. The end. The story's all done. I hope you had fun with S-T-O-R-Y-T-I-M-E Story time with S-A-N-D-I Story time, Sandy. Midnight and I sure do love reading with all of you. <gasps> you know what else we would love to read? A special secret message written just by you. So grab a grown-up and ask them to help you write a message for us down below. And hey, before you go, let's read another story together. All you have to do is click that box right there. Let's go! Well, aren't you coming? Come on, click the box and I'll see you in the next story.